So, here it is. 8 Tesla. 8000 gas magnetic pulsar. 5th generation. Finally, I got it made. It's been a while I've been working on this and it's been a while I've been wanting to put this out for you guys. So finally, it's here. This thing is insane. It's crazy how much power it packs. I am surprised myself how much this thing can do. Um, I will be demonstrating and show you how it's uh, what it's putting out in just a second. So here how it looks in the back. With a fan exhaust fan. Right now it's plugged into the 110 outlet. It's getting its power. So let's give it a little test. I have, I have here my weights and my aluminum sheets, 128 sheets here, 100 gram, 250 gram, one LB and one kilo you guys this is my weights that I'm testing the pulsers with so let's give it a quick test first one will be uh, the lightest one which is 100 gram all right so let's test that out 100 gram placed on the coil I'm gonna I'm gonna, gonna step back quite a bit actually so, just, just hang on here. I should be far back enough for you to see. Hopefully, we can see it fly. On a count three. One, two, three. Oh my gosh. There I landed. Um, I think I lost a view of it, but let's do it again. All right, you guys, for a second time, 100 gram aluminum weight. One, two, three. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that was probably like 50 feet or so. All right, let's give it a second one, 250 gram. All right, you guys, 250 gra gram, quarter kilo weight. Uh, let's give it a test. Count three. One, two, three. One more time. One, two, three. Oh, come on. One, two, three. There we are. Probably like 40 feet. I'm not lying. That thing just flew up in the air. About 40 feet or so. All right. Uh, next one is one Elbe. Alrighty, one LB. This is getting heavy. This thing is heavy. I don't know how far it's gonna fly. This is the first test. So I'll still stay back. Probably about 25 feet or so. Alright, you guys. One, two, three. Come on. One, two, three. Something wrong with this remote, okay. I just activated. Uh, probably 35 feet or so. Let's do it one more time. One LB. No, probably not that much. Not 35 feet, but let's give it one more time. Probably 25 feet or so. Okay. One, two, three. Yeah, about 20 feet for sure. 20 feet, you guys. One LB weight, 20 feet. Getting repelled up in the air. And last one is the heaviest one, one kilo. This is really heavy. You guys can't believe how this magnetic pulsar can repel this thing so all right one kilo it's 
replaced. This is the fifth generation magnetic pulsar putting out 80,000 gas. Being tested with one kilo, 1,000 gram aluminum weight. Repel test. Stay back. was like six foot that was definitely was about six foot it's higher than me flew higher than me one more time I'm gonna do it one more time you guys this this pulsar is insane my previous model uh, wouldn't shoot one old bear six feet this guy is shooting one kilo over six feet so check this out one more time one, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, there it was. Hopefully, I didn't land it again. Let me see my quill. Okay, all good. Thanks, God. Yeah, you guys, this thing is incredibly strong. Um, I will be talking a little more about it in a second, but that's that was just a test here. Uh, let me show you <clears throat> band test very quick so um just a second let me figure out how i'm gonna i'm gonna do it so i have to push the button and hold it at the same time all right i got it all right you guys this way this thing is gonna hurt me one two three oh come on jesus oh my gosh so see that anyway i'll continue later on inside all right you guys I'd like to talk a little bit about this um, fifth model. So, as I said, it has a larger capacitor bank. Uh, my previous fourth generation uh, model had 27 microfarad capacitor bank and I would charge it to 640 volt maximum at manual. Uh, this unit has a 3300 microfarad capacitor bank and I will charge it all the way to 920 volts so that's a little over 300 volt extra in addition to um, my previous model and also there is 600 microfarad or so capacitor bank increased compared to the previous model that's why this unit is much stronger than the previous one uh, another thing is it doesn't have uh, 25 percent power setting so it has a 50 percent has a 75 percent and 100 percent so at 50 percent it will pulse uh, around four tesla uh, at speed of uh, takes about two seconds for each pulse to release at 50% this unit will pulse six Tesla and takes about five seconds four or five seconds uh, for each pulse and uh, when we switch to 100% uh, it will pulse around eight Tesla and it will take uh, roughly around 10 seconds a little less than 10 seconds but say 10 seconds and um, as far as how how many pulses are you going to be able to get before coil gets hot uh, i'm still testing it but at 100 percent i have tested at this setting i can get around 70 pulses 70 pulses 
uh, before coil gets hot and unit will need to place it in a thermal uh, in a standby goes it's a thermal protection circuit inside it prevents the coil from getting hot and melting and causing the fire issues or anything or burning uh, anyway <clears throat> Another option, another future uh, that I would like to talk and say about is that this coil, it's mainly about this coil. What I did here is I basically filled up all the gaps inside the coil with this resin. Uh, this resin is slightly rubberish it's almost like a plastic and by the way this is two-part coil uh, this is hard plastic and this is slightly rubberish uh, plastic this gives you uh, slight flexibility when coil gets hot it expands a little bit and uh, it will and this rubberish plastic will prevent from uh, cracking in the future appearing or any um, basically will make this coil last much longer uh, so what the result of this is that I got this coil to be very quiet this coil uh, coil when it pulses a Tesla it's uh, quieter than a four Tesla uh, my you know four Tesla model B uh, for generation it's so quiet that I can place it over my ear and I can I can hear the clicks but it's not gonna make my ear ringing uh, like the other one if I place it over my ear I will make it ear ringing so this is good advantage that when you use this this is very quiet uh, especially when you use on lower powers so like on 25 uh, sorry 50 percent so when it releases uh, two uh, four tesla pulses it's really quiet you can barely hear it the click um, so that's what i uh, have improved into this model and i think this is a good advantage to have it makes it all solid state uh, and this coil I still wouldn't submerge it into the water uh, because I'm just I just wouldn't do it uh, because of the temperature differences when it gets really hot and you put it in the cold water the sudden temperature difference is just not good so don't put it in the water to cool it just let it cool it naturally let it sit like this it'll it'll take about 20 minutes and it will cool down and will units start working again um so what do you guys think uh, you've seen my uh, previous units in my previous videos um i would like to let i'd like to see what you guys think leave some comments below um and let me know what you would what, what your thoughts subscribe uh, to my channel as in a previous video I mentioned at the end of the video that I am giving away one of similar units it's a model B and this is still effective uh, what you need to do is to go to my website is it's uh, the link is down below and the spec of the specs of the unit I'll post it down below as well so you go to my website and there is a very basic questionnaire few questions you need to answer to verify that you're subscribed to my youtube channel and that you are uh, interested to get this unit and i need your contact information your email so that i can reach you back and that's it and you are in uh, by the end of this month at the august 31st uh, 2020 i will have the contest and one of the subscribers will get a similar unit i wish you all good luck sign up uh, subscribe and stay tuned more of these videos are coming
Thank you for watching.